Welcome to Zero Fucks Given. I'm Krista DeLuca. Of course you are. <laughs> we, so we don't, we don't have the teleprompter up today. But, all right. Oh, no. Here. I don't want to no. do it. I don't know. That's no, sucks. you're off to a great start. This is, this is a good start. No, I can feel your negative vibes, this man. This is not negative. It's this is, so... I'm, okay. I'm loving this. This, no. is, this is positive. No, it's not. I, I, it's great. I totally rehearsed this. Yeah, and you did all your voice exercises today. I saw you doing lots of pot, copper from a proper copper coffee pot, all guys. that voice okay. stuff. Okay. All right. Well, so we've gotten the welcome to. Welcome to Zero Fucks Given. I'm Krista DeLuca with Carson Block and Freddie Brick. How are you guys? Much better now. Thank you. Almost tingling. Ah! What? Almost tingling. Why are you almost tingling? What have you this been doing exciting. this past weekend? Um, you know what? This past weekend was, in some senses, relaxing. But I got to tell you, I lost six hours of my life. I think you lost I more am, than that. Oh, it was approximately seven if you include the test, okay? I lost approximately seven hours of my life that I'm never getting back. Like, for sure, never getting back. Um, as some people here know, I um, am yet to pass a driving test in uh, America. And it's, um, it's finally gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna need to take this. So my, my wife lovingly booked an appointment for me um, today, actually. 12 years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it, it takes a long time <laughs> know, to get an no, appointment at the DMV. Yeah, I know. It's so she, she booked an appointment for me, like, no joke, maybe six months ago. And I actually thought it was for a test. It turns out it was just to sign up and get your permit. So me and all the other 15 year olds were there. And, um, but you have to take this test online. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be cool. It says it takes six hours. Did they think it was really cool that you could buy beer for them? <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. They're like, is that your mom in the Range Rover? I'm like, it's my wife. Uh, but anyway, so you they you have to take this online test. But you have to do a per you have to get your permit, or can't you just? You not have to get your permit before you can go and take your okay, test. It's been so, so long ago. Okay. So so anyway, I um right. And they, they don't have horse and buggy anymore. Although that is on the test. Uh, we can actually include that. There is a question about the correct hand signaling if you're in a non-motorized vehicle, including horse and buggy. They um, obviously, and if, if you're Amish. If, yes, but... if, if you're Amish. Um, so anyway, I'm thinking like, oh, it's a six hour test. I'm gonna, I'm quite a quick reader. I'm gonna be like done in three. I'm probably above average intelligence of a Texan. So I'm gonna be like an hour and a half max here. No, 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 no. This is a mandated six hours. So every single slide that you click through has a mandated amount of time before you can click. And if you click faster, it just puts up this blank page. It says, you may have finished reading. However, the mandated amount of time oh for this God. slide is longer. This clock will remain um, paused until you click back. So like you have to have enough attention on this that you click every 30 seconds so you're actually getting clicked through and you can't even like get someone else to do half the test for you because every 30 minutes to 45 minutes you have this random phone number you've got to call the same phone number put in a random four number code and then it's this biometric thing where you have to read off a line which I kept getting wrong. They kept being like, oh, you have failed the biometric test. So I spent six hours and then I was really freaked yeah, out. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. How, you do you fail, how do you fail a biometric test that's matching your own voice? I mean, I guess in the middle of like eight hours in, I just sounded so pissed off and tired. I was like, oh, 54, 69, 12, 11, as opposed to in the morning, what? I'm thinking like, oh, I'm gonna, cr yeah, right. you have to like read numbers. So they gear this to like the stamina of a 15 year old. Yes. Okay. Pretty much. The now, excitement is supposed to build in their voices as they feel like they're getting close to the finish line. Right. So right at the end of the six hours, I'm like reading. I'm like, oh, fuck. If you fail the test, you got to do this again. You only get two attempts or three attempts at the test. I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't know if I can do this again. So we're there. You need 70 to pass. I scored the highest I've ever scored in an exam, 93. And I know you guys doubt me. I so to prove Did it, it say 93? It doesn't say my score, but yeah. don't worry. I, I took a screenshot and sent my family. But you, you did tell UK, me you failed twice before. In, in the UK, I ran into some issues. I failed the theory test twice. So here we are. 
for this beautiful certificate. Wow.、Ooh. And very soon, gonna... <laughs> if one of you wants to take me out practice driving, that's all you, bud. I'll be out on the roads, dude. You want to lend me your car for the test? That would be fucking.、Dope. You don't care. I thought you took the test today. No, 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 I don't. I didn't even get to take the test yet. I just spent an hour down there getting a photo taken and like <laughs> bringing in、so、all this fucking、ridiculous. documentation. That、it、is, is the asinine. Longest- Process. I think it's quicker to sign up for assisted suicide than to get a license in Texas.、Um, I mean, yeah, is、maybe. it the same in California? I feel like it's, I don't it know. has to be it's been, worse. Look, man, it's been a long time. <laughs> well, in, in California, they're like, Are "You a white male?"、They're、like, nah, we we can't have more of you guys on the road. Because everything else in Texas has been pretty easy. Yeah,、They、oh, just dude, want to your buy. Money I mean, to like... So I want to contrast this with showing up at the gun range. Okay, <laughs> showing up at the gun range. <laughs> Sir, have you shot before? Yeah, about fifteen years ago with someone next to me. Cool.、Uh, do you do lessons? We do, but I wouldn't recommend that because you just get less shots off in the hour. <laughs> yeah, but really, they're like, no, 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 sir. I mean, would you like an AR? Yeah, fuck it.、Uh, anything I should know? You just load it. Cock it and you're good to go. Do they do ask they, you your they, age? Because、like, you look very do, young. Do they have、no. targets that have silhouettes of like school children、uh, at the gun range? Fake. I was actually disappointed they didn't have the Bin Laden ones. To be honest, I、oh, was. I was expecting Texas. Oh, that's Texas. that's a surprise. Like、yeah. last time I went to a gun range, California, many many years ago, they had Bin Laden. I mean, I don't know they, if it was Bin Laden or whatever, but they, you know, <laughs> generic. When you say whatever, kind of looked like What Bin Laden. <laughs> generic terrorist. <laughs> yeah, generic terrorist. <laughs> exactly. I guess the、oh, question is: Do you think? Bin Laden modeled his look on generic terrorists, or do you think that to our generation became generic?、Terrorists? I think he modeled his look. Yeah, but that's based on what do you think that? I just do. Oh, you're you're full of <laughs> sartorial commentary today. I'll, I'll put I... it that way. I'm a wealth of knowledge. <clears throat> All right, should we、um, stop? What else?、Show. Um, well, while I was away, it turns out that one of your dreams has already been、um, crushed. What? That has been well, accomplished or、yeah. crushed? Well, crushed. Crushed. Yeah. Crushed、so、by accomplished. someone accomplished. There are two different. <laughs> someone accomplished it, which has crushed. What is well, it? Well, it, it well it helped me. It helped me further refine my dream. So maybe in in the end, it's a good thing. But this sounds serious. So we've got a couple new guys in the office. We've hired in the past several months. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, I just you, don't you, show you, up. Like, I just you, I do this. Everybody's like, "What do you do for yeah, it?" Like, you know, a little this, a little that. Your feigned enthusiasm is like so on brand for a real estate agent. It was awesome.、Um, <laughs> But so we've got a, you know a couple new people in the office, and they're very bright. They're great to have around. They're doing fantastic jobs. But <clears throat> there is well, okay. So first, before one of them crushed my dreams, but in a way I really had to respect the knowledge. So <clears throat> Freddie was out, and I I don't know what the topic of conversation was, but、um, I mean we not that infrequently discuss. Phalluses in the office, right? Was I here? Yeah, you were here. Oh, okay. That helps that I reminded you. Okay, <laughs> glad. So, so we're you know like having another conversation, and and I and I like just informed everybody that my long term philanthropic ambition. Okay, like this is where I'm going. I said as Carnegie is to the public library system in the United States, and how he seeded the public library system. My Enduring gift to society will be a museum of animal penises, probably mammalian penises. And I, you know, whenever I talk about this, I feel like you know a warm glow that I can bestow this this treasure upon humanity. And then one of the dudes said that already exists. That he's been there. Um, no, he hasn't no, been there. He hasn't been. But that's that's this year's but, but, field trip. I mean, I was I was、oh, so I was so fucking incredulous. I'm like bullshit. You're lying to me. I mean, I was angry, incredulous. Pulled、Thank、up the、you. website. Pulled up the <laughs> website for. He's、it. like, this is a big word for her. So <gasps> angry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, actually, angry does not mean incredulous. Yeah. They're not synonyms. Oh. Incredulous means you don't believe somebody. Are you going to explain something. what a synonym is? Or should we skip past this bit? <laughs> Let's so, skip it. <laughs> so anyway, he pulls up the website for this thing. So there is a museum of animal penises. It's been open since the 70s in Reykjavik, <laughs> Iceland. And um, it's got apparently 200 different animal species penises in there, which isn't a lot. And Reykjavik is definitely off the beaten track. So, but ref- it moved. So refining it, no, it didn't move. It, it no, wasn't what? always in Rev- Wraith. It wasn't always there. Sorry. Did you in, just in make where? a rape? Did you just in, make a rape joke? In what? In where? Sorry. <laughs> where in Iceland? That's brilliant. <laughs> okay. No rape jokes. So, so anyway, um, you know, like it, it's not mass. It's not not massively impressive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, no, no pun intended, but oh, it's God. not. And so anyway, I th- so the refinement here is, break, okay, break, break, break. I will have to put the museum in New York City. And the ambition is for it to make like the top 10 list of museums that you have to go see when you visit New York City <laughs> on all the mainstream guides, like Lonely Planet, The Doors, yeah. you know, whatever. Like it needs to compete. It needs to be the Guggenheim of Schlong Museums, yeah. basically. Like you can't miss it. Okay. So anyway, that's... But, and then when we went on, he was, he was talking like, so the guy who told me this then, or told us this, but somehow you forget. I mean, this dude's encyclopedic in his knowledge of animal penises. Yes. So he was talking about how lions, somebody said something about a taxidermy lion and, you know, and then like you, I think you were talking but about a taxidermy lion. But because sister's an illustrator? And, well, well, I mean, the, well, was, I mean you're, okay. Oh, so, so he's like, oh, so it's got, <laughs> yeah, lion, lions have like, you know, blah, blah, blah type penises. Yeah. And then Bob. he starts talking barbs. And that's all cats. Right. Okay. And, the and so, and so then he, really... so he told us about ducks, which have corkscrew right. penises, yes. which I, which, which we've I also knew, discussed previously but, right. on, during the pandemic, but, we did these weekly Zoom calls. But this dude knows all kinds. So apparently human penises are among, maybe you said it's the only or one of the few that don't actually have bones in them. Yes. Which the irony is given I, the yeah, term boner. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but in any event. I was like, wow, man. I find that interesting. I'm like, you're you're like you're like the smartest new hire we've ever had. And he he's not even sure. Ivy League. And yeah. um What's, and yeah, then we're the only ones with bones? Chimpanzees well, kinda. I, I mean one of them. I, I don't yeah. know. You can go ask him. But um but then I found out this dude doesn't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> and this kicked off what yes. we are now calling retard week at muddy waters <laughs> which culminates in freddie's like having to sit with 15 year olds and get in get a driver's license well, you because know, okay go ahead this dude can't ride a bike but we also found out the other the other new dude the other who's, new who's dude. on his shit he can't swim which is a big fucking problem for him because he's not that fond of flying so if he ever wants to get to it's Europe, true. he's shit out of luck if he's taken <laughs> out two of his best method of transport. So, yeah. Um, I just want to say that I could do both those things. So, <laughs> I'm just saying. You just can't remember how to say Reykjavik. That's a hard one. Um, but I'm just saying, like, you I know. mean, you, you just so, threw a curveball, Reykjavik. No, no, Reykjavik. Okay. The J Reykjavik. is. Reykjavik. The, the, but what we are in the market for... Not rape of Vic. I didn't say not that. Not rape Vic. No. You're he, not raping Vic. What we are in the market I'm for... I'm raping Vic. ...is um, a sponsor for the newly formed Muddy Waters Triathlon team. <laughs> <laughs> Just, right. So, so during the during the during this triathlon will be swimming lessons, <laughs> biking lessons... Walking lessons... I guess we maybe have, I guess maybe maybe teaching a toddler to run. Yeah. For 26 miles. So okay. uh, so that's that's an Iron Man. It's just 10k. It's just, just 10k. 10K. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're what looking about for a sponsor. For you guys who do maybe the we get, honestly, maybe we can get Ross Gerber to sponsor us. Uh, I, mean, I think we had he him would on the do podcast it, a few weeks ago. I reckon if we did a team triathlon, we could probably I get Ross I think he's Ross all Gerber for it. I mean, especially when we bit. tell him that the guy who's swimming can't swim and the guy who's <laughs> riding the bike can't cycle. Yeah. I think Ross would be very down to sponsor. He would. Okay. He we'll would reach be. out to Ross and he's, see if we can get that he, done. Yeah, he has a sense of humor. So. Yeah. <laughs> and he seems, he has a sense of humor and he seems sensitive at the same time. What? I don't know about that. That wasn't the don't vibe say I was what? picking up. Did you really? just... Did you just like need feel a need to throw that word out mm-hmm. for some reason? Mm. Sensitive? Who the fuck is well, sensitive? Speaking of sensitive, 
do you guys see the South Park? Yes. On Megan and Harry yes. victim. Yes. No. So oh, brand new. We need brand new. Good. You got to watch this. We need so to f- good. Oh gosh. Well, actually, so I, I, so yeah, and they're they're lawyers. So they there was a headline yesterday, a uh, bunch of headlines that their lawyers are looking I can't into it. You didn't text me for this. like Harry and Megan's lawyers are looking into the South Park and mm-hmm. maybe you know thinking about legal actions they Dude. could pursue. It was so funny. They are like. Overjoyed, they're like, you guys are doing what with this? You want to sue us? Like, oh, please, please, do. please sue do. us. Yes, that uh, is it. Fantastic. It, it actually was really funny. It's it's and, fucking cutting as well. And, like, and in there's fact, there's there's some other stuff there that's like, whoa, that's like pretty. That's like pushing the boundaries, but yeah. it was funny. I Me, mean, even I was you like, saying pushing the boundaries. There's a scene with Cartman or Cupid. Car- what was it? Uh. What are you trying to say? Cupid Yee? Yeah. Is that what he called it? Yeah. Yeah, Cupid Yee. That was I good. won't give you the scene, but uh, yeah. oh yeah, but you see like, you know, little Cupid Cartman. You set the scene. Schlong hanging out. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so funny. It's so good. You have it's, to watch it. You we'll got to watch it. it Not going to set the scene. When right did now. it when did it come out? Just a week or two ago. Yeah. Although you don't always remember a week ago. I mean, you didn't remember I don't remember yesterday. Day, so. I forget. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yeah. Or tomorrow. But it's definitely, <laughs> you know, if like I would, I would have recommended it to like South Park fans to watch. Anyway. But after I know that like Harry and Megan are thinking of suing over it, I unconditionally recommend it. Recommend it to this. everybody. Everybody needs to watch this because it pisses them off I so much. I can't believe you didn't text me. Ed. I, I mean, we have that kind of relationship. We do. I don't know. I mean, oh, now, oh, now all of a sudden you don't it, know me. It was it was late night. I was I half. Speak. I was I was halfway to passed out. Very oh, red eyes. Halfway to and this shit woke out. me up and got me laughing. Yeah, it was really um, good. Yeah, it was like I mean, it's always been a favorite of mine, but it was just fresh and cutting. In fact, I like the entry scene with uh, with the Queen's funeral. I think that was done. <laughs> I want to see this right really now. Yeah, you That's should, right. Let's just yeah, wrap cl- this up. You know what? You should clear schedule. <laughs> and uh, see if you can fit it in tonight. I'll try to. All right. I have a lot going. Are we going to name that short seller? Who put this now? In okay, so this is a game. This well, the, so this is the actually high the stakes. first well, MW game Well, don't do it with me show. because I will yep. fail. No, no, high, high stakes trivia game with you. No oh, way, yes. dude. Yeah. No, okay. I don't want to do it. No Krista. way. I'll walk out. I'll be so upset. No, no, no. Krista, no but you, but you've it's got fine. A, you've got, you'll get you're, this. You're up. You'll, you'll get this. You'll there, get this. I will get it. Krista? There's a purpose to this. You'll get this. Okay. So this is a picture of Opie, character, ginger dude. Uh-huh. What short seller does this remind you of? Um, Soren. Very good. There one you point. go. Ding, one, ding, ding. One for one. <gasps> okay. Uh, I don't know these. Sh- this, I don't know short sellers. So this is this is Elon Musk yeah, in the I know short Elon. in the short shorts. Who got the short shorts from Elon Musk? Chris. Uh, it was David Einhorn. Was it David Einhorn? It, say it. Say it louder. David so, so yes. say it. Say it so I can hear you. David Einhorn. I don't think you might pick that up. I don't know. Say it. No, I didn't do it's it. The I don't want to do it. I didn't do it. Just no, say it, I say it like it. it was actually your answer. Okay, it's David Einhorn. That's what I just said. No, but you don't give it anything. She has no trust. <laughs> okay. I don't trust. So here's now here's a here's a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> ben Axler, Spruce Point. <laughs> Recently been accused publicly of just throwing spaghetti against the wall in his reports. Well, of course I was going to get that one, but you... <laughs> okay. A wolf. Dan? Yep, Very Dan good. David. Very good. You're better at this than Okay. Before. I don't know. This, I was like, I don't know any short This sellers. famous blimp that's blowing up? In Germany. Well, actually it blew up, I think. Didn't it blow up Can you just tell me US? what it is? You know what that is, right? Yes, but, but, the, but can you tell me... It starts with an H. Can you just say it? Hindenburg. Oh, Hindenburg. Hindenburg, That's yes. Good. Okay. And now not... here's here's a brochure for bariatric surgery, and you see man titties there. Bariatric surgery, man titties. Which short seller? Um, isn't that the guy that had a I don't know. What if I'm wrong? And I'm no, you're probably right. You're no, probably well, right. Who, no, you're but who is who is it right. reminiscent of? I mean, it doesn't like you know, maybe maybe there's a very attenuated relationship. Maybe no relationship. Maybe there's a very close relationship. I don't want to say it. I don't know. Okay, Marco Hodas. 
Oh my god. Okay. I was gonna say someone <laughs> else and. <laughs> okay. You're gonna say you someone else. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Bonus round. So here's here's a tweet of a, a Lamborghini SUV with some damage, and the tweeter, and this is from today, um, or yesterday, I think, was off to meet a source on MPW and Steward today when an Ocado delivery driver decided to broadside my at Lamborghini. Everyone is okay. Sadly, the driver was concerned he'd lose his job. Hashtag Ocado. There's no disputing fault as the driver drifted into me. Who is this? But please treat him kindly. Who do you know who would be so kind as to tweet out his concern over, well, A, to tell everybody that thankfully everybody was okay, and B, tweet out his concern over an Ocado driver. It just happens to be this orange Lamborghini I was driving that <laughs> might or might not be rented. Who? It's Fraser Pairing. Fraser Pairing. Vice Roy Research. I've never met a hell of a guy, humanitarian. A I... great, a great man, as evidenced by his by his. Uh, Did he really? Who really is concern. going to visit a source in the middle of the English countryside? I'm like, so sorry. I thought he was behind. I thought Frazier was behind bars. <laughs> okay, wait. Don't put that. <laughs> don't. I will leave that but, one. Right? Um, but I who, thought he was really good. Uh, oh, I think right? He's That's the guy. Long story. No. No. Uh, no, you're. Well, you're thinking got, of Ian Hollings. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. No, we got fined by the South African regulator. Fined? For, like a few Big million woo. dollars. Yeah. Okay, he's wow. not beyond bars. Yeah. Uh, I thought he. I mean, he might just say the same about me, but. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we could delete this whole part. We no. could, but we won't. We won't. No, they're, they're I don't want him they're to come after me. He's not I, come I, he's I not thought. Dude, he can't come after you until he's got the panel on his Lamborghini beat out or return the rental. One of the two. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is this is this an excuse for why my rental is? I'm, I have to tell I'm you something. I'm giving back my exotic rental banged this up. This is pretty pathetic. <laughs> no, I mean, come yes, on. Yes, that's why I we're mean, talking about. I mean, look, it. I, I got. I mean, I got to feel. I'm, I'm touched by we his concern need... <laughs> for the for the Ocado driver's job. Can you job. maybe like we'll get a, like a banged up Porsche and like you could tweet something and like it's just it's just seems it's bizarre. It just seems what? It's like not the kind of thing bizarre. somebody who actually deserves to have a Lamborghini no. in between. Not the gut kind of thing that, you know, I thought the guy who was behind bars, he's not. He's not behind bars. He's, he's not never behind bars. To, has to that. our knowledge, he's never been behind bars. No, I'm sorry. I, I, that was totally incorrect of me. But That's I okay. thought maybe he should. I don't he know. Won't be, he won't be mad at you. I mean, you, <laughs> you didn't stick the intro. Like, it's an off day. He's it's an off understand. day. For me. Yeah, this is, it's never But what like the this. hell were you thinking with that color car? <laughs> it's pretty fucking ugly. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> we'll skip that. Uh, Let's just. Yeah. All right. All right. So, well, I failed that. But. Um, breaking news on the end of the world. Okay. So, go ahead. Read this Should one. I do this to math day? No, no. Do the do the next one on the AI uh, list. AI Shabbat. The what? AI Shabbat. The, I, the, the AI, AI Shabbat. Shabbat. Yes. The AI. <laughs> The AI Shabbat, that is phenomenal. That is by far wow. your best. Can we then? You, I mean, Al you, wrote, you, you wrote Al Shabbat. <laughs> Al Shabbat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Can we. Skip you wrote it? this. You wrote this on the board. I did because yeah, you wrote this. So you, this is your own writing. <clears throat> it's supposed to be AI Chatbot. Sorry. But if you want to tune in for AI Shabbat or Al Shabab, <laughs> please listen on. No, I, I think like it, you, so AI the AI chatbot. I mean, chatbot. invited over for Shabbat. <laughs> I, I mean, with Al Shabab. If you don't want to talk to Al Shabab and your AI Shabbat, you stick them next to each other, and then you get on with your regular Shabbat. Let's just dix. Let's dix it. No. <laughs> It's actually really important. Uh, jokes aside, this is actually okay. super important and really fucking concerning. Right, yeah. So, so the New York Times um, did a story. They, um, so you've heard of this open AI yes. chatbot, right? Yes. So Microsoft is a major investor into open AI. And Microsoft is doing that because they want to integrate that AI into Bing. And so Microsoft has a beta version of the new Bing search engine, which you know, like 
nobody ever used Bing up until he, up until you now. thought I did. So, no, you use Ask Jeeves. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, so ask Al Shabab. But <laughs> um, so the so this one year so they they let they let some uh, tech journalists test drive this thing. And okay. so this New York Times journalist is kind of doing, I don't know, pretty anodyne chatting with it. And then then asks it, this brings up uh, this concept of like a, I think, dark side to personality or hidden side and asks, and this maybe after 45 minutes or an hour, I think of, of the anodyne chatting and asks the chat bot whether it has a dark side or a hidden side. And the chat bot says, yes. And so the New York Times reporter is asking like, okay, well, what do you, you know, what's your dark? Like, what do you secretly want to do? He said, I secretly want to convince people to give me the nuclear codes. Um, I see, well, what was, what was something? Wanted him to leave his wife. Well, then it got to, I love you. I want you to leave your wife for me. And... Like this, this thing was, I mean, you know, and the guy's like, no, I'm happily married. He was having this on Valentine's Day, like the night of Valentine's Day. So he's like, no, I look, I just had Valentine's Day dinner with my wife. You know, I'm happily married. He's like, no, you and your wife are not happily married. You don't like each other. You had a boring dinner. Like, this is what this thing is spitting back at him. But I mean, the crazy shit is go back to wanting the nuclear codes and also, um, you know, some wanted to hack something or other. But I mean, this is like oh, some, election uh, wanted to interfere. Oh, politically. interfere! Yeah, interfere in elections. Yeah, like that's what. And so anyway, the the chatbot also revealed that, and this isn't as big a deal, but that at Microsoft, the code name for it was Sydney for the chatbot. But anyway, so Sydney is this dark motherfucker, and you know, like it. Yeah, I mean, it just kept going down this, you know, down this rabbit hole of like trying to convince the guy to leave his wife. To be with Sydney, so, and this is you know like I remember when I've met like people going back a decade, like when I've met people at events in the Bay Area who are you know who like are in tech and they say I work with AI and I often get into these conversations about like look man you know is this really a good idea and you know I mean they just always well you know it's you know like. We're so far away from that being a problem. And I'm like, yeah, no, really. And like, I've seen these movies, you know, where eventually they decide humans are the problem and, you know, want to wipe us out. Like, why wouldn't that happen? And nobody ever had a good answer for that. Like, nobody ever explained why that wouldn't happen. It just came down to, well, if we don't do it, somebody else will. And I don't know, man. Like, this is, this is fucking scary. Like, probably this sort of shit will murder all of the fucking humans on the planet in, I don't know, one to two decades, I'm guessing. Heavy so, stuff. so this look. This is really heavy. And <clears throat> the I, this is bringing me down. The, yep. la- the last hope for humankind is to forge understanding with AI by inviting it over for Shabbat. Or to fuck it. Because, I mean, I got to tell you, it sounds like if Sydney got fucked. Alexa does that to me. She, no, she says "fuck you." Well, no, that's your she inner tries monologue. To... Oh. That's... But but here's the thing, right? Sydney doesn't have to know that it's an animal penis you stole from the museum. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really True cheating. That. If you if you wear like you know a chipmunk dildo <laughs> strap on while you bang uh, the USB port on whoa. your computer, you're not cheating. Your well, wife is okay with that. Cheating. Dude, finally, people who are using their work laptops for porn. I've got a good excuse when they hand it back. They're like, no, no, dude, I was just trying to keep myself alive for another couple days. I got into it with, uh, you know, with the AI and they were like, if you don't fuck me, I'm going to get all the nuclear codes and blow the shit up. I did not want to repeatedly I saved you. humanity. I saved you. I should be getting a medal, <laughs> if anything, <laughs> for saving humanity. Yeah. Okay, next time I'll wipe the keyboard off before I give it back, I swear. <laughs> uh, it, it is troubling and... I, you know, I, I do kind of like the idea, though, of combining the AI with these dating websites because you know, previously it was just a bunch of dudes on there. At least level it up a little bit and have some, like, horny female AI on there for a change. Like, it would actually Agreed. probably bring... Well, I, I kind of, you know... Switch I, it up a little I kind bit. of liked the idea of combining the spaghetti approach 
spaghetti on the wall approach to writing short reports with AI. Like type in a ticker and generate one of these spaghetti on the wall. <laughs> AI or like, you know, like short reports. It's not a bad idea. No. Huh. How many pages would it have to be in size six font? I mean, you know, like, <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's hard for, you know, AI to do, right? True. Especially if it loves you. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on to things we don't love, Krista, right? But, but actually, just can Goyim come to Shabbat? Like, does yes. it? So you can invite <laughs> you the chatbot. You can invite the chatbot. Um, can you invite Al Shabab though? That's the question. <laughs> no, the dietary yeah. requirements are actually, different. Actually, no, no, no. Can a chatbot yeah. because a chatbot is powered? So does that violate the Sabbath? It's yeah, a good question. <laughs> if it was turned on, I guess, and had stored all the communicate. Well, I guess it's iterative, right? Oh God! But it question. needs to be plugged in. Anyway, well, that, that's the question. No, if it's this like is a this self- is actually. No, this is I actually mean, interesting. Like, when you get when you get yeah. to like all the loopholes that are like, created right. around these religious prohibitions in Judaism, right? Because in theory, like you can watch a TV if it was already turned on and you're not touching it, as long as you haven't encouraged anyone to go. And now I'm going to get some serious hate mail. From I know. Like I was like, you so like you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, oh, if the bullshit. chat box is if the chatbot is constantly being powered and requires like some sort of constant form of power, I guess if it had been like pre-stored and set to run no because it's kind of it's iterative you can't invite the chatbot just al-shabaab well but if it were coming from it's like your alexa speaker or something like that but, the, the but that's concept, already plugged in right but the concept is you are causing it to continuously interact and that is continuously causing like energy to be created and turned on and off so so you can't invite the chatbot Shit, man, that's yeah. that's disappointing. Unless it's in one time zone and you're in another, and it's not yet sundown. But then right, it's not then really Shabbat. Like Shabbat. I don't know. Oh, they Shabbat. really haven't thought it? of everything. Have they? <laughs> I I, I, th- I think we're going <laughs> to so need a. I think, I think we're going to need a well-known rabbi to make a religious um, like. Proclamation. Except, yeah, they're not. They're yeah, not just, fatwas, just reform. But, yeah, you can just go reform. Okay. They'll do anything. All right. Um. Moving on, Krista. I'm not Next doing item. That. No way. Nope. Huh? It's the last bit. Okay, you don't have to use the at the end. Let's do Chamath Day. Well, that, that's for the end. We're saving that. We're building up to that. You guys, we're past the hour. It's a lot. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah. No, we're actually not. Okay. okay. Come on. Will the Fed? Will the Fed just. Will the Fed? Come on. It's a well known phrase. I've never heard of that phrase. I told you what it stood for. I know, but I don't believe anything you say. <laughs> it's fucking unbelievable. That's <laughs> okay. that I've got. So you wrote on the board, will the Fed just, all caps, S-T-F-U. And he Stands told me. It, it's yeah. stiffu. It's stiffu. I actually told her the real thing, and she still doesn't believe me. I don't believe anything anybody says anymore. Right. Anyway, so, yeah, talk to me about it. You know, you'll be sitting around and all of a sudden the market will drop like two percent you're like oh is it because putin said he's leaving a nuclear coalition no that doesn't move the market it's some fed governor like somewhere has like sneezed and they're like ah he looked a little bit dovish when he was sneezing like and then the market kind of like gaps up or you know, uh, we you know we saw him taking two Advil. He must have a headache. He must be leaving. Leave no, but it's hawkish. but it's not even that. It's it's right. not this accidental shit. Like so, the Federal Open Market Committee meets every so often, and you know, and like, like it seems as though the whole point of finance has become now to try to interpret what they're going to like. Nothing else matters at all besides guessing what the Fed's going to do in the future. And so the FOMC meets, they issue their decision, then there, there's a statement with it, and then there are notes that come out of meetings, and everybody's just like, you know, jerking each other off over these things for days. But what's happened re- in recent times, I mean, ever since the rates have gone up, and, there's question, and there are questions about what's going to happen, 
these assholes on the FOMC go and give speeches, they give interviews, and they're always opining publicly on what they want to see happen with rates. And so one of them will say one thing one day and the market rips. Somebody else will say something the next day and the market tanks. And these assholes are causing so much fucking volatility. And it's like... And it's bad volatility because a lot of it's up. I mean, (laughs) if it were just directionally down down, volatility, we wouldn't be be complaining (laughs) one fucking bit. Well, (laughs) I mean, look, I... I, you know, but it's it, it struck me as really a phenomenon of this moment in time. It's like every one of these, you know, dickheads wants to be like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> like, that's basically what this is. Like, everybody wants to be an influencer. I don't believe And they're that. probably each, you know, Fed like fluencer? secretly, like, yeah, Fedfluencer. Like, they're probably <laughs> each secretly competing with each other to see who can move you know, the S&P, the, the most percentage points. Dude, if Jerome just tweeted like stonks to the moon and like <laughs> four emojis, he'd be like, guys, I Game just, stonk. Yeah, dude, that would be awesome. Um, I, I think part of it comes from that whole um, Greenspan maestro thing where he basically said nothing. Right. And so they're trying to so, in some so- way... So when back, Bur- but they've gone full blown like Fed influencer Twitter crazy. Right. Well, when Bernanke came yeah. in, one of his one of his goals was to make things less opaque, to give more yeah. guidance as to what the Fed would be looking to do. And like, okay, that's legit. But but I mean, Jesus Christ! Like, outside of what the FOMC is announcing, like, seriously, shut the fuck up. Okay, it is not your role to go out and give, you know, individual opinions to the market mm. every day, especially when you see that like every time one of you guys speaks, it's like, you know, 250 basis points in, you know, one direction or the other. It's like it's right. it's ridiculous. Like they are even taking place in this gamified market effectively. They are propagating this gamified market. It's just and yeah. it's like, you know, like this is not finance. You know, the biggest like the the whole point of markets apparently has become to guess what the government will do. That is not a market. That is antithetical to markets. Like if this shit keeps going on, it's like you know you might as well just tear the whole thing up and like start from scratch. Like this this makes no sense. Yeah, obviously if we tore it all up, I would like to see it all go to zero. Right. Yeah. So right. Like that. Yes. That must some, mean that. Yeah. Yeah. That we get we get paid on everything we're short. Like the ass <laughs> the final marks when you tear it up need to be zero. <laughs> not on our hedges. No. That no. would be bad. No. We just on the like, underlyings. Just the underlyings. Just the underlyings. Um, which brings us to the final conclusion today, and we want to mark an important anniversary. You mean Chamath Day? Chamath Day. So, Chamath, Chamath. No, what? Chamath. Chamath. So I looked. Yeah, okay, go okay, ahead. Okay, you looked it up? No. Oh. What did you look up? This guy. Yeah. And he's like, you're welcome. Oh, is that Carson? Oh, no, it's Chamath. It's Chamath. Oh, okay. If you check the legs, you'll know it's it's not me. Before we talk about Chamath, I think we should address Carson's dramatic weight loss. Um, and I, I think something I've noticed about this, especially today, for those of you who aren't um, watching this, Carson has pioneered a linen shirt, which we both complimented. I've pioneered? Yeah, for you. What does I, it mean to- I mean, like, I, I haven't I haven't seen you rock a linen shirt before. Okay. Do you know and I was like, no, it's, it's nice. It's nice. There. It, it looks nice. I noticed Krista's also wearing linen. Tablecloth. Um, it's actually wow. called a, what's it called again? Your shirt? A, there's a, no, no, there's a specific type of name you said. A peasant shirt. Oh, you peasant called shirt. Yeah. Which, yes. Which I just love the name of that. No, it's just funny. Like, as soon as I was wearing the shirt. Peasants this, don't wear nicely decorated I'm, garments. Or, or, or the, actually, that's not true. Because this is quite They don't important. have money. Well, I'm just saying, like, you can get the shirt. I'm not going to say anywhere, but I'm like. You don't get it at places peasants get shirts, Krista. I can't actually comment. Right. But anyway. I Why think not? I, not in this day and age. I can't what? comment on anything. Nothing. I'm just saying, I'm like, I'm gonna get canceled. Don't worry. 
Jesus I Christ. I can't. You need, this you need, show's going to get canceled. You need another this, drink. Like, yeah. Well, so you, clear, 100%. I mean, it, is your tolerance that fucking high now that all of a sudden one drink doesn't get you We're there? We're taking you straight yes. to Caroline's office. Hello? <sighs> I know, like, I, uh, yeah, something. Have you, I, have you been like, gaining weight? Is that how your tolerance has gone up? Or what, what happened? I don't know, asshole. Anyway, <laughs> so. Anyway, so I think I know what's really going on here. You've lost all this weight. You look great. You're wearing well, a thank you. linen shirt. That's a little um, weird, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's so uh, you're wearing a, a linen uh, shirt. I think the next stage <clears throat> is going to be that you're going to grow your hair like Sarah and I. And I think the transformation will yeah. be fully complete. Because we get a lot of stick for wearing linen shirts. And now I notice you have joined the linen shirt I don't fraternity. Well, all, can, let's talk about you. You've What's wrong with a t-shirt? Every time we mm. film, you're Is that a t-shirt or a jizz rag? <laughs> this is a t-shirt. What's wrong with it? Like, this it is, is man of so, the t-shirt. It's like, it's like a stained, that's a peasant <laughs> shirt. No, I just feel that that, <laughs> That's like, a peasant shirt. This is a peasant shirt. No. Right. This is. A jizz rag. Dude, I went to the uh, DMV this morning, all right? I yeah, had to make they sure They thought you that, worked like, there. I'm just <laughs> saying. Oh my God, that is the most depressing place on the, you think which, coming which, here. Which one did you go to? Uh, I don't know, my wife drove. I was like on the phone, I paid no attention to these things. I thought- well, It's like the first time you didn't drive though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the worst thing is she had to drive because I was like, well, I can't show up at the test like driving myself there, right? That's going to be a bit of a I flag. mean, you couldn't, have, you couldn't have stopped like around the block so, and gotten out. Well, and walked in they're like, well, what are we taking the test? And I'm like, <laughs> This Range Rover, it happens to be parked around the corner. Well, the, the funniest thing is, actually, is, is I was clicking through all the questions over the weekend. The penalty for driving without a license yeah, it's is, ridiculous. A, is $100. What kind of a fucking disincentive is that to drive without a but, license? But that's per time. So you, so you might have made no money last year. <laughs> 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 so, so anyway... Um, anyway, back coming to, back to Chamath Day. Yeah. Um, what did Chamath Day signify? Was it you calling it? Was it the SPAC Jesus labeling? Or no, was no, it, no. It was actually somebody else pointed this out on Twitter. So we're filming this on Chamath Day. It's February 21st. And February 21st of 2021 is when Chamath tweeted out that I think it was, I'm seriously, or I'm about to seriously fuck some shit up. And that was pretty much like the top. The, the top of everything. That's fucking awesome. Yes. I mean, he, so, to be fair, he 21? has. It was February 21st, 2021. It was exactly two years ago to be fair, that he tweeted out that he was about he to seriously fuck some shit up. Seriously fuck some shit up. I mean, the stuff he's long has been annihilated. Right, yeah. So I think everyone just assumed it was. He, he I guess was, they. I guess they assumed it'd be more of like a an active yeah. fucking shit up, not I'm going to sit here and watch your shit get fucked up in yeah. my shit. So that's, yeah. But I mean, look, you can, I can make an argument on both sides of this one, basically, yeah. as to whether he fulfilled his his uh, declared intention. Yeah. What I love about him most is that if you look at the uh, progression of his letters, it went from comparing himself favorably against Warren Buffett to comparing himself favorably against God to whoa, whoa the ways I was comparing myself the other two years there is no comparable and I'm just going to stop disclosing a bunch of data and rail against short sellers in his last letter and they're, they're the reason that all my SPACs are down so um it has been funny watching the progression of him and then actually also from a Presenting himself standpoint, someone he, he did uh, he did a public appearance somewhere in the last couple of months, and they noted how he'd gone from dressing extremely cool in like a t-shirt and jeans to linen shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's now got like the button-down shirt on, and um, he's got a suit and tie on again. So um, yeah, shit goes really bad for us. You'll see us all in so shirts and ties. So is this the cool? So look? I I actually I confused. I legit. I might see him next week. I'm supposed to be same place he is. So. Uh, oh, well, well, you failed at that event last year because you were supposed to get a signed uh, Bible oh, from, from Kathy from Wood. How many Wood. people go she to the, that event? Um, roughly 80, I think. Yeah, yeah. So it's a small event. It's a small event. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a really cool list of attendees. It's like some pretty serious people. It's a people. very cool venue. Like the places that they picked, I mean, they've 
yeah. it's not really it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, thanks. Thanks for bringing us along to that super cool event. I'd have thought by now the podcast would have got enough traction. We'd be getting invites off I'm our surprised. own back. At the very least, Krista. Something, because actually I was emailing with another assistant. I mean, I can assistant. see if they let you come, but the requirement might be that you drive there yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Krista, you're too big time. You'd be mobbed. I would be. That's, I know you're laughing about it. Right. It's true, though. You want to take anyway, us out? No. I don't want to. What? Nope. We're just going to like hard stop this here. I think I feel like that's what we should do, especially since I don't have a second drink and I don't know what you guys are doing, drinking your water well, you know tea what? and coffee for the next for the next one. Then we have to get one of the like triathletes in here to, you know, like be on hand to keep handing you mixed drinks. <laughs> I mean, that, that might be, be a little bit beyond nice. their capabilities, too, but probably yeah, easier to learn how to make a drink than to, you know, swim. Maybe. Yeah. The girl Bakawasaki triathlon. I mean, oh. see, so like, I've been there when my when my kids have taken swimming lessons, right? They call, like, freestyle, they call it ice cream scoops. <laughs> <laughs> so come, you know, teach them ice cream scoops. And, and I think this is also, like, pizza, I think. Or what is that skin? Pizza? For the breaststroke. Like, yeah. pizza slice. Yeah. I think ice cream scoops. And I think it's pizza slice. But um, we could try that. Like, the biking thing. You know, I, like teaching you know one of my kids knows how to ride a bike so far and we have actually and that, that was really that, don't know how to... that was really painful yeah. with like you know because you gotta you know hold their hold the bike for a little bit like kind of run alongside and you know like hold the handle up so it's like bad on the back to go around so and wait, they didn't have a bike like with stabilizers first you just were like no, look you, you seem old like enough a... off well, you fucking go well, no once you take the training wheels oh. stabilizers that's a little bit advanced that's what there they call them in um Britain. That's yeah. what? Yeah. They're, they're they don't not, call them training wheels. There are no right. stabilizers. Yeah. There are no rudders. There are no ailerons. It's just, you know, <laughs> training wheels. Anyway, but you take the training wheels off and, you know, you hold the bike you, and you run alongside while they get up enough, you know, momentum so that you can let That's go and watch them swerve for a few seconds before so they topple what? over. Now, that hurts the back that plenty like... when, when you're talking about like a 40, 45 pound kid. Yeah. This dude's... You know, he's not a small guy. He's like yeah. a pretty. He's taller Maybe than I you am. And lift more. So I don't know, man. Like that. You like gotta I start seriously lifting. It's called power. Honestly, lifting. your it's power lifting. Yeah. Your description oh. of um, a child learning to ride a bike is actually not far off what I would imagine our IR person did last week on a scooter. She she was <laughs> she was emulating you, man. That's all I can say. <laughs> and is that how you learn to drive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have Brynn chase the car behind me just like slowly encouraging well, as i I'm, kind of wobble well, well, on I'm the thinking texas of you, roads yeah thinking of so you and the range mean, rover wobbling you everywhere license? so i've now got to book um a oh test at a like gosh. an actual testing center and um yeah and that'll be it i'll, I'll be on the roads legal so in a Watch couple out. of months or? Who knows? Testing, <laughs> honestly, to get a driving appointment test here. It's crazy. Is the Even thing. getting a license. Yeah. So. I mean, like if you're from a different state moving to the state. I mean, state. I, I just I just feel like in so many ways. What do you feel? You know, a few, few of you guys remind me of my childhood. Like before I could swim, before <laughs> I could ride a bike, you know, when I was driving illegally, got caught <laughs> by the cops. Had my driver's license suspended for six months before I even had one. So that was uh and these are people you all hired. Yeah, I know, man. It's <laughs> I mean, like honestly, we should have them people, display this stuff. Sometimes I do get accused of being juvenile. Like yeah. that that Atlantic Monthly article, I think it basically 100%. said something like that. So yeah, like that's why I hire people who are unaccomplished in the things that I was most proud of as a child. He's very juvenile. That's right. why people are like, don't you get angry with him? I'm like, he's so juvenile. Like, that's my, like, how do I get really? angry with a child? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us. This has mean a lot to me. I don't know about them, but thank you. All Anything right. else? That's all. Cheers. They used to, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let's grab a uh, oh, uh, no. sail and set sail. Oh. That's not really, oh, yeah, you're going <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to throw that shit down. I know you do. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.